by the craziest Wall Street bets trades you never heard about by Benjamin. I've heard some crazy, some crazy ones by um, what's that dude name? It's like a bald dude. Uh, it's like one of his videos he be having. It. Yeah, it <laughs> people go from 20k, 700k to zero. <laughs> the balls, the balls on it. Wall Street bets, and if they 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 up, they stay there. When <laughs> when they lose, when they go to zero, they leave. They leave. They gone. Never hear about them again. But hey, yeah, they playing the game. I, I I love this. I love this. I love the risky balls to the walls. They're playing the game. They playing it risky. Some most lose. Some win. Some win and then lose. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, let's up. Let's go. This video was made in partnership with The Daily Upside, a free financial newsletter that offers insightful information instead of headlines that make you want to throw your phone against the wall. <laughs> I'm sick of constantly reading Arku using crazy hyperbolic language headlines. Marcus Soares, this is bear sends bulls running. <laughs> <laughs> Visit the link in the description to learn more. This I somehow made $110,000 this morning and I'm not sure how. This wasn't even posted in Wall Street what? Bets either. This was posted in the options subreddit. It just shows. The entire investing community is just Wall Street Bets degenerates wearing different faces. <laughs> Tens of millions of them. Investing, trading, slot machines, it's all the same thing. What happened here? Facts, this is facts. actually one of the craziest and luckiest trades I've ever seen. One. It's a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to break it down. I can't so this guy even. sells a thousand put credit credit spreads. He collects a $2,000 credit with $50,000 in collateral, his entire account. He basically makes $2,000 up front, but is risking $50,000 if the stock drops way below this price. If the stock closes above his short put strike, both legs of the spread expire worthless and he keeps $2,000. In after hours trading, the stock briefly drops between his long and short put. The put he sold is just barely in the money and the put he bought as protection is just out of the money. Being right. that the puts he sold are now in the money, they get exercised by the buyer. To make this simple, he's now forced to buy $23 million worth of SPY shares. And the puts he bought to protect against this scenario expire before he can exercise them to cover these ones. What does that leave you with? A $50,000 account holding $23 million worth of SPY shares. Just to put that in perspective, $23 million worth of borrowed shares in a $50,000 account is 460 to 1 leverage. It literally can't go tits up. If SPY would have dropped 1% in the morning, he would have lost $230,000 from an initial $50,000 investment. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, SPY opened green. By the time his $23 million worth of shares sold, the position was up over $110,000. Leaving him That's with a healthy crazy. 200 I recommend you don't trade options ever again. He won though. He won, so he knows something you know. And absolutely no idea how he got He knows there. nothing. Infinite he got lucky. <laughs> there he are knows so many nothing. great trades on the internet. Like I could just Fucking sit around hell. all day and look at them. I'm financially ruined. <laughs> them have actual analysis and predictions to back them up. 99.5% of 200% a lot. Depends on the context. Gains? No. Losses, yes. Them are just absolute degenerate risk taking <laughs> that print cash or violently implode. Hundreds of thousands, mm -hmm. millions Zero. of dollars from pressing a few Oh my gosh, four hundred thousand dollars minus forty-five thousand. Only got one hundred fifty dollars. Yo, bro, this is Buttons nuts. On the screen. This Before is nuts. we went through the biggest, love it, love best, it. most violent losses. But you know what? I'm done quenching your <laughs> animal options. thirst for blood. Check this, this out. Good. Another four million dollar loss. Oh my god. Four million dollars evaporated in one day. This one is specifically. <laughs> Myself? Let me explain why. Yes. We joked about money <laughs> evaporating with other losses before, but this, this is on a completely Bro. different level. XIV was basically an inverse <laughs> fund that used futures to track the VIX, the market volatility index. If you look at the VIX, you can see that volatility over the long term tends to revert back to a low point. It spiked mm -hmm. during 2008, spiked during mm -hmm. Corona, has some smaller spikes here and there, but generally tends to fall over time. Because XIV mm -hmm. inversed the VIX, you could buy it and effectively bet that volatility will go down. Oh. Seems like risk-free money, right? Over yeah. a long... <laughs> what did I say? Just ask for a refund and you should be good, my dude. <laughs> money, right? Over a long enough term, yeah, it, sounds, it yeah. seems like volatility will always go down. This yeah. idea was the basis for different traders and funds inversing Every the volatility. Every dip, Toad found some rope in the cellar. 
every dip. <laughs> utility index. Billions and billions of dollars poured into these funds as they returned 3 to 10% per month. Okay. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> then basically one day the market sold off like 5%, causing the VIX to shoot up around 100% and XIV to lose like 90% of its value, leading the fund to be liquidated. So with a conventional loss like this one, as oh bad as my. it is, it's still unrealized. There might be a quick rebound. There's a chance yeah, is, you yeah. might make some of your money back. Yeah. This is Just the closest right thing there is to money position, completely man. disappearing. This is a loss here in parentheses. You might be wondering why it's green. It green. It's because when you lose $4 million, the smallest courtesy they can offer you is to make it look green so it doesn't sink in immediately. <laughs> and so you don't throw yourself off a building. And now, allow your boy to get paid. Because this video was made in partnership with The Daily Upside. The Bro, Daily Upside that was, is a that's daily nuts. newsletter written that's by a nuts. team of that's former nuts. investment talking about how the global economy is about to collapse. One day, they will be right. Bears. Until then, I'd rather read this newsletter so I don't have to claw my eyes out. You can subscribe to The Daily Upside by visiting mm -hmm. the link in the description. Mm -hmm. It's 100% free, and you can always unsubscribe if you don't enjoy it. Now, visiting the deep, dark abyss of violent financial losses forces us to beg a very very important question. Why? Minus Why would $4 anyone million ever dollars. fucking do it? <laughs> Millions of dollars, gone. Financial futures, ruined. Why not just ruined. buy an index fund and let your money multiply 22 exactly. times over the That's course right. of your lifetime? Hey, to those hey, of you who what do, what do I got? Uh, uh, I got BTI, right? I got something. It's doing good. It's doing good. Haven't been indoctrinated into this community. I'm guessing it's kind of hard to understand. But remember, for every- YOLO. Love it. Love to see it. I ain't gonna lie. Community. I'm guessing it's Love to see 100k YOLO on margin with my student loans. Yo. Understand. But remember, for every <laughs> violent loss, there is an equal and opposite gain. It mm -hmm. may not be a one-to-one -one mm -hmm. ratio. Probably, yeah, probably closer to 10 to 1 at least. But yep. for every 10 financial futures that evaporate, <laughs> there's a degenerate lifting himself from the trenches into mm -hmm. a new town. IRS when I YOLO on Tesla dips, your risk. I guess when I cash out on my, of, of my Tesla, our profit. <laughs> that's facts. That's, that's facts. Some bro. of them actually do it intentionally. Yeah, there, there's only one I can think of. That's just. That's just. Yeah, that's that's bad. We need to learn about the architecture of financial gains. Gains are more complicated than losses, but also more interesting. Let's dive into this. Now, if you're anybody that's somebody, you're probably going to undergo some massive financial losses at some point. The Spartans used to send their kids out into the wild at a young age. Mm -hmm. At least, that's what happened in 300, I think. Which is exactly what happened in real life, maybe. This is history. This, this is the modern day equivalent. Mm -hmm. You leave a boy, you come back a man. I wasn't mm -hmm. really going anywhere with Facts. that. I just thought it was a funny analogy. Okay, so gay. You're, 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 you're not a real man until, <laughs> until you lose 50% of your, of your portfolio in like, in like a month. <laughs> Happened to me. <laughs> I see differently. I see differently. I, ain't going, I, I see differently now. I see differently now. I see right. differently now. You get 10 million monkeys together, and I mean literally monkeys from a zoo and tell them to buy options <laughs> some interesting things are going to happen there are going to be thousand percent gains and hundred percent losses plenty of hundred percent losses so what's the likelihood of something like this happening? hundred and <laughs> and yes that is a one hundred thousand percent gain on tesla calls of course what on tesla calls of course what other than Tesla? Let's actually look at Tesla. Tesla's a beautiful stock. Tesla's a beautiful stock. I've been, I've been on Tesla since. Bro, well, Tesla's a beautiful stock. I believe in Elon. I believe in Elon. Come on, I'm man. guessing some of you might be holding it with the recent rally. What kind of move in the share price would you need to see gains like this? If we look at this 2150 strike call, we can see that the market is anticipating it to have roughly a 1 in 1,000% chance of expiring in the money. Plugging this same call into option profit calculator, we can see what it would be worth at different prices. 1,000% returns. I'm using this to demonstrate that if you get 10 million trading degenerates together, these tail events become far more reasonable. Crazy things are going yeah. to happen purely out of random chance and not yeah. necessarily their trading. It's not even out of percentages. That many people doing that is, <laughs> that many people doing that crazy shit, the percentages will say that yeah, yeah, yeah someone. As if that wasn't 
for whatever reason, was not obvious. <laughs> Fuck, if you have 10 million people, it's more likely than not that one of them is a serial killer. I mean, looking yeah. at some of these losses, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this is some kind of serial killer origin story. Crane I wouldn't murder that against them. Crane okay, 6,000% returns in a day. Wait, no, 6,500% returns. It's easy to just forget that extra 500% until you realize that 500% alone is 5xing your money. Yeah. The Trivia Tribe bought Roku puts with one day until expiration. The next day, Roku stock happened to get destroyed. So casually 65 xing your money. Bought 1k worth of Roku puts yesterday and they're worth 50,000 today. What the fuck? 49,000 profit on 1k down? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Sounds nuts. In 99% of cases, if you make a return like this in one day, <laughs> it was entirely due much to less luck. Broke Why? <laughs> because if anyone had any idea the stock was going to move in a big way, Roku's implied volatility would have increased, causing mm -hmm. this percentage gain to be much smaller. Despite mm -hmm. that, an absolutely insane return. But it doesn't end there. Because the Trivia Tribe proceeded to dump the $50,000 into spy puts, expiring in one day. Needless to say, it somehow worked. What Balls, the balls, the balls. See, this is what I phone. <laughs> I phone them. They got balls, the balls. Once again, you it's get crazy. 10 million people balls. together. Some of them will do the this. Balls. Some of them will turn seven hundred dollars into a hundred thousand in two days. The is it balls? You gotta have balls and not give a fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. The entire That's group, crazy. That's fifty eight thousand. That was hundred thousand. This is biotech for you. This comment sums what? it up better than I ever could. Biotech stocks, for those of you who may not know, are home to some of the most powerful catalysts in the entire stock market. Mm. If a company is manufacturing new drugs, a discovery could 10x the Fuck value you. of the business overnight. Nice. Because of this, <laughs> biotech tends to be a ripe opportunity for yeah. the kind of degenerate risk-taking you might see on Wall Street bets. In this scenario, Novacure jumped 50% in a day on an announcement that the trial duration would be reduced. Could you ever do this or predict these events with any kind of consistency. The catalysts themselves, probably not. Only 9.6% of drugs entering phase one clinical trials will end up reaching the market. You can never be sure at what point good or bad news may occur. However, I've heard that the bigger opportunity in biotech lies with how you play a potential overreaction to good news. Using Novacure as an example, the stock is down 45% since this massive spike. Good news in the case of biotech isn't enough to create any substantial long-term value. It just means that there's a higher chance the company will be worth something in the future. Hitting a lottery ticket like this one is possible, but highly improbable. That doesn't mean I'll stop trying because it is facts. Fun. Thousand percent gains are cool, but me personally, I like to see trades with real intent, a prediction that actually worked. Find 10 million people buying lottery tickets and some of them are going to pay out big. Making a prediction that works as you anticipated is a different story. This trade idea was fairly simple. In December the of 2017, long. Congress passed a bill cutting corporate taxes. The last time taxes had been cut this severely was in 1987. The idea mm. is that this is what caused the S&P to perform very well in January <laughs> of 1987. With that in mind, this degenerate bought $100,000 worth of out-of-the-money calls, anticipating that past performance would be indicative of future results. Dad. A strategy that always works. As it turned out, he was right. In January, the market had its best month in the past two decades. 25x in yeah. his account to lock in 2.5 million in real life Damn. before the market <laughs> sold off. Most of you are probably thinking, well, if the corporate tax cuts were public information, wouldn't they be fully priced into the options market? And how can we accurately draw causation between the tax cuts and the market's rally in 1987? We can't. However, Steve makes it clear in his post that the trade wasn't based on a certainty that the present would unfold like the past. It was based mm. on the idea that the options market was significantly mispricing the possibility that it could happen. A great mm. trade. From biotech lottery tickets to fund liquidation, you've now seen the highest highs and the lowest lows of mm -hmm. internet finance. How does it feel? All of this shows that the best strategy for the average investor is to consistently put money into an index fund. Did I say index fund? I meant inverse volatility fund. <laughs> that way you can make gains Facts. like this. Facts. Show it at the... I'm gonna do it at the end, right? No! <laughs> 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 Disgusting. Beautiful. Boss of the walls. Chaos. Love it. I just love it. Me, I play say ETS. I put money in Ethereum. We good. We good. Tesla. I love Tesla. Tesla's a beautiful stock. I got it. <laughs> 
Simple. Tesla, uh, Vanguard, I think I have. I don't know. We're good. We're good. <laughs> but these balls to the wall, I may, I may have to throw a K. I'll, I'll, I'll dead do that. I'll dead do that. But if I win 50, I'm not going to win. <laughs> I'm not. The percentages, the losses, the people who show the losses, way less than the people who actually lost. So it's, it's not in your favor. But you may win. You may win. You know, you never know. You never know. This was crazy. This was crazy, bro. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm out. Like, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Subscribe to Benjamin. It was nice. It was nice. I ain't gonna lie. This was nice. This was nice. Um, wait, I'm out. Uh, bye.